Their plight was itself a comment on the first day at badminton this wet April. The thing with the glaring eyes, or to give it its real name, the Westland Westminster Heavy Duty Helicopter. Heavy Duty is right, and it's been doing a spot of weightlifting to prove the powers of this twin turbine machine, the largest of its kind in the world. The load is a section of an army assault floating bridge, and it weighs about three tons. Nice work by the crane transporter version of the Westminster. A civil transport version could be an intercity airliner carrying some 40 passengers. Meanwhile, the Westminster prototype certainly makes light of its heavy duty jobs. In America, a tilt wing aircraft's the latest idea. With its wing at the vertical, the weird looking machine is virtually a helicopter. They call it the Vertol 76 and having reached the required altitude, it can now fly like an ordinary fixed-wing plane. It can land in its own length. Seen here undergoing tests in Pennsylvania, the plan is for the American Army and Navy to be supplied with these hybrids eventually. In Britain, the hybrid idea has already been proved by the ferry rototype. Half helicopter, half airliner, without any wing tilting, and a number already on order for America. A brief